Okay, my usual camp had someone in it, so I came over to this one, which I've never actually stayed at before, but uh, should be pretty good. Um, good tent spots. Definitely sheltered in here and a little closer to the water. So uh, anyways, first time for everything, right? <laughs> That's okay. I've had that one so many years in a row. This will be a nice new experience. So I'm going to go ahead and get camp set up. We'll check in a bit. Okay, camp is built. Um, I'm going to put my fishing rods together and go do some fishing in just a minute. I'm going to sit down and have a snack and then go out and uh, toss a line. Um, this is a great spot. Um, I've never stayed in this one before, but um, I'm actually liking it more by the minute. And uh, I really feel like it's a little more secluded and I uh, get a little more privacy over here. So anyways, um, camp set. We're ready to go. We'll check you in a minute. I'm going to go fishing. Let's go see what we can catch. Signal cast. Oh, that's a nice brookie. All right, decent looking fish. All right, these guys have gotten a little bit bigger than I remember last time. That is a beautiful fish. find a big foot but I definitely found a big fish That's 10. I'm going to head back to camp, work on my fire, and maybe come out and do a little more fishing. It's been a lot of fun today. Okay, I'm back in camp. Um, great day fishing. Day on trail was awesome. Um, 
Camp is awesome. Um, I didn't get the spot that I usually get in here, but that's okay. I'm actually happier with this one. Um, I've got a lot of solitude over here, plenty of firewood, really close to water. Um, man, fishing was red hot out there, man. These guys have grown. Um, last year when I was here, they were all pan fryers in this lake, and I got some 14 and 15 inch brookies tonight. So, uh, man, that was awesome. On the Tenkara too, nonetheless. So that's really, really great. So I think I'm going to get things settled here in camp and, uh, maybe light my fire in a little bit and, uh, just wait for dark. I'm going to shoot a star trail tonight. Uh, see if I can do a long one too. Um, cause I'm right by the shoreline. I'm just up from the shore at my camp. So should give me an opportunity to leave the camera down there for a very long time. It's gone crystal clear. There's not a cloud in the sky now. So, uh, Looking to be a pretty sweet evening on tap, so we'll check in a little bit. Okay, all well my firewood is now processed, and I'm ready to go for the evening, so we're going to change into the evening gear pretty soon. It's starting to chill off a little bit in here. I've um, still got sunlight, though. You can see it through the trees there, so it's been a great day up here. Man, what an awesome hike in here today. Good fishing, great camp. This is awesome. All right, top of the morning to you. It's day two out here, Cooper and Basin in the Uinas. And uh, that was the coldest night of the year for sure. Um, I was warm in my bag, um, but I could definitely tell by the air outside and uh, the condensation on my rain fly on my tent, it froze. Um, there was frost on the tips of my boots, the toes of my boots, uh, and frost on the rain fly on my pack. So that's why I always put the rain fly on the pack as it keeps the frost off the bag. Um, had breakfast. I'm just uh, doing a little coffee here and then uh, going to do a little camp maintenance and uh, change for the day. And then I'm going to go for a little fishing adventure today. So uh, um, yesterday was great. Last night was an awesome night by the fire. Um, got a star trail. 
Um, got a really unique Milky Way shot framing in the silhouette of the trees with it. Um, I'm really excited to see that when I get home. And uh, yeah, it's been a great trip so far. Um, loving it out here. And uh, I'm going to finish out this coffee here and then get things moving. So we'll check you in a bit. Okay, camp is all packed up. I'm going to go ahead and hit the road, go for a little adventure today, see where uh, the mountain takes me. So uh, we'll check you in a little bit. I'm going to throw a couple of casts. I don't think there's any fish in this lake. I haven't seen any action, any signs. Um, I haven't been down here since I think 2010 was the last time I came to this lake. I don't think we thought it had fish either, but I just wanted to come and see all the lakes in the basin this weekend. So here's this one. It's only half a mile. I can backtrack my route back up and head over to the other one. So we'll give it a shot, see what happens, and we'll move on. Okay, if you want to know where your Mylar balloon that escaped from your birthday party went, I just found it here in this off-trail section I'm trying to get down to this lake to fish. Um, don't buy Mylar balloons. And if you're going to secure them, make sure you properly dispose of them, or they just end up in mountain areas like this. So I'm going to haul this guy out. Um, we'll check you in a minute. All right, just made it up off-trail. Up to the spooky pond um so it's pretty easy street from here head up to moose tracks pond and then i'm gonna head to number four do some fishing so um beautiful day though man and uh still some wildflowers peeping in that uh drainage i just walked up so that was kind of nice and uh some of it's definitely turned into fall as well saw some fall colors in there so little aspen grove i didn't even know existed in there and uh number five is beautiful boy i wish i had fish i'm just wondering if it winter kill i'm gonna do some research on that when i get home so anyways we're gonna move on we'll check you in a bit Okay, there's your salamander from the salamander pond. Pretty crazy. Um, it's pretty big. So he's moving. Yep, you can see him in there. That's pretty cool. Yep, this basin's got everything in it. Okay, I'm up at number four now. I'm going to try a little fishing and uh, see what goes on. There's some beautiful fall colors in that cirque behind me there, and that's really awesome to see. So first fall colors of the year that I've seen, like full on. Those aspens and uh, all the, the ground plants have all changed, so that's pretty sweet. So let's go see if we can catch a fish. We'll check you in a bit. A nice tiger on the grasshopper. Look at that. Nice. All right, nice tiger trout. Awesome. All right, grasshopper is killing it up here today. Good stuff. All right, another tiger. Get her in here. Oh man, got myself a lunker. This guy is a monster. And I believe I almost packed up and started walking away. Wow. Yeah, that is a big tiger.
Got the trifecta now. Look at that nice cutthroat. That is a beautiful cutthroat. And got him on the grasshopper too. That's amazing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy off. Okay, just rolling up the camp. That was a great day. Awesome fishing. Good off trail hiking. That's what I came here for this weekend. And uh, man, I'll tell you, totally worth it. So I'm gonna sit down and relax for a little bit. Yeah, great day, awesome. Awesome day fishing. Okay, firewood is processed and uh, kindling is ready to go. Camp is ready for the evening. All right, top of the morning to you. It's day three here in the Uinas in Coober and Basin. And uh, just getting up and getting packed and having a coffee and breakfast. And then uh, I'm going to head out. Um, it's been a great weekend in here. Fishing was amazing. Got a new campsite, which I've never stayed in before, which I really love. I think I'll stay here from now on. Um, it's just a more privacy, you know, people walking through your camp and stuff. And a uh, loop hike of the basin yesterday. I visited all the lakes in Coober and Basin. So that was pretty fun. The fishing was red hot. Um, number four, those tigers were amazing. And number two had some fast action cutthroats. So um, then Friday night in here catching the brookies, that was amazing. So I'm going to finish up your old coffee here and then I'm going to put things in the bag and get moving. So we'll check in a little bit. All right, well, camp is all clean and packed up and uh, I'm ready to hit the trail. So I'm gonna throw the pack on and get moving. It's been a great weekend in here. Um, 13 years in a row I've been in this place and uh, 
forgot to mention about the deer in my camp last night. This deer last night was just like foraging all around my tent all night long. I could hear its footsteps and uh, it was even there this morning when I woke up. So kind of crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna throw the pack on. We'll check you in a little bit. the deer that was in my camp all night and all this morning. I'm going to see if I can get a closer shot, but I only caught up with it after trying to get it on film all weekend. Made it over the pass, gonna head down. It's been a great trip in here. That's a uh, Bald Mountain and Reed's Peak there behind me. Uh, I'm on Marcel Pass right now, it's a, it's a beautiful day. A little bit of cloud deck coming in, but nothing that looks too threatening. I'm just gonna get down off this and just in case it decides to, to get angry, but uh, other than that, I'm really not that concerned. Just saw some pine grouse, which was really cool to see those guys coming over the pass. And yeah, it's kind of been a morning of wildlife in here, so pretty cool. We're gonna head out, we'll check you in a minute. That is amazing. I'm getting to see those on the way out. All right, let's move on. That's pretty cool. Mountain goats on the way out. It's been a day of wildlife in here, I'm telling you. It is crazy. Good to see them though. That means things are thriving, so. 